on during your rehab? What specifically changed as part of your throwing motion? Uh, it, just being injured elongated it, made it long. Um, you know, I was having to compensate wherever I could, so my, my stride was getting long, and um, you know, I was able to, to come back and, and get my release back down to where it was. I, I feel like where, when I played junior college, um, I feel like that's it's back to, to that, and I felt like mechanically that's the best that I've ever played. Does this, so does, does, your, does your motion have any hitches in it? Is it pretty smooth now? No, I, th I think last year at the end of the season, everybody, you know, you saw it. It definitely had some hitches, and it was long. So I think, you know, like I said, I, I felt as good about it in junior college as I ever have, and, um, you know, I think it's back to that. Both of the longest times that you hit, we haven't been able to throw you know, when you're rehabbing. Can, can you get better at looking at film and seeing, I mean, how much more film set did you do this year than ever before? Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, I had to, you know, I had to, to get my work in somewhere. Obviously, I couldn't do it physically, so, um, you know, getting in there with the film and, and uh, you know, coming a, becoming a better student of the game has definitely helped me. I know uh, Coach Warner being around the last week or so to help you. How much does it impact you there? Uh, I mean, I don't think it impacts you watching the film. I can't, you know. No, him being around with seven on seven, I guess. Oh, he can't be with seven on seven. Okay. It's It's only when I'm working individually. Okay. Um, so that was that was kind of like the, the first part of my rehab process. So, um, you know, get my mechanics right, and then once they're right, go out seven on seven, and then it's, you know, just like every school, the team, you know, the players are controlling it. I know he wanted to be very cautious with your rehab. How do you feel about the pacing of your rehab process? Yeah, the first two months, you know, I wasn't able to do anything. They, you know, wouldn't even let me stretch or do anything like that. So the first two months were very, uh, you know, some depressing days when, you know, I had to go in for rehab and we couldn't even really do much but check my stitches and, and things like that. So that was some depressing times, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with the way that, that it turned out. You all went 7-6 last year and had a great recruiting year. What kind of reading do you expect of opponents this year? Do you expect it a little more serious, a little more, they're not taking you for granted like that? We know you're pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you know, you hear all the time that, um, you know, they're, they're going to be able to slow down our offense because, uh, you know, more teams are going to run it. We have Auburn coming in running the up-tempo stuff, and they're going to be more used to it. And, um, you know, some of those may be right, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, we're going to be in the second year of our offense, and we're going to know it better. We're going to be better at the tempo. So uh, I think it's, you know, who who's going to work at it harder that week and who's going to be more prepared. What's the difference in coming into the season knowing you're going to be the starter versus last year where you were fighting with other guys? Um, I don't think it's a huge difference in it because, you know, I'm coming. You know, last year when I came in, Guys were like, you know, can he play in this league? Can he play in the SEC? Now it's, you know, is his can he play in this league now with his shoulder uh, after his shoulder injury? So for me, it's it's the same chip that I've always had on my shoulder that I'll probably always play with. So uh, I'm, I'm not even looking at it as I am the starter. Those guys, are, they're going to push me every day. So I'm going in trying to be the best quarterback I can every day. I know, Bo, some coaches don't like the high-tempo offenses. They want some rules in place to slow it down. Just your thoughts on that? Um, you know, uh, I think until maybe somebody changes the rules, we're going to play how we play. And if they change the rules, I guess we'll have to change them. You think there's any validity to the claim that it causes more injuries? No, not really. No. Hey, Bo, how has that early recruiting class meshed with you guys in the, uh, the offseason? Yeah, I think they jumped right in, and there are some workers in that group. You know, you can see why they were they were high four- and five-star guys. And, um, you know, even the, the smaller guys are coming in and working hard, and they definitely gained a lot of our respect. So we expect a lot of those guys to play this year.